Здравствуйте! Okay, let's get started with some basics here. We're going to start off with some greetings. Uh, hello and goodbye. Now, um, in Russian, you want to give respect and you want to get respect. So it's very important you know some of the, the basic rules. And uh, so let's start with Здравствуйте. Now, this is um, hello for people you don't know, for your elders, and for people who haven't invited you to call them familiar. Now, you have Privet. This is for your friends, um, people you know, um, and people who have invited you to call them familiar. Um, now, for goodbye, you have Dasudanya. Um, again, this is formal. And you have Paka, informal. This is very important in Russian. Okay, like the word you, for example. There is ti, that is uh, informal, and there is vui, which is formal. And, okay, let's take the word uh, work, to work, robotit. Now, if I wanted to say you work and you're my friend, I say ti robotish. If I don't know you, I say vui Robotitya. So you see the difference there? Um, in Russian, word form changes, suffix changes, prefix changes um, to tell you what's going on. So um, it's good to get these uh, foundations going when you're starting out and to make mental notes of um, the formal and the informal. Um, now, some of the tricks I used um, when, when I started out was um, uh, just personal things that may work for you, may not. Um, I would watch as many movies as I could in Russian, even though I didn't understand them. I was learning a few words, like these greeting words and whatnot, and when they came up in the movie, I got excited. And I told myself, oh, I'm learning, and I'm starting to learn the language. And it's, it's a mental thing you do with yourself. And uh, I would continue to do this. And as I learned more, I would go back over that same movie. And you can see how your progress grows. And, uh, you know, you can take um, into account of, um, of this. Another thing I used to do, which may seem funny, um, at nighttime when I would go to bed, I would uh, stick on the headphones and I would listen to Russian music and it would continue to play when I'm asleep and my subconscious, I believe, took a note of that and uh, same with the movies that I'd watched before I would let them play when I was sleeping and it was a, a sort of subconscious immersion of Russian and then the next day, you know, I would get up and I would, you know, learn Russian again through my teach yourself books and whatnot and uh, I believed it was helping and I think belief is a big thing you know, you gotta believe in yourself and you gotta believe that you can achieve your goals. So, uh, until next time, до свидания.